This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to take you through the entire process of what it takes to create a 3D animated movie. So let's check it out, here we go. It all started with a mouse, the most famous quote by Walt Disney. One day Walt was riding on a train and he decided to sketch on his napkin and came up with the now famous Mickey Mouse. Just goes to show that every production starts with a great idea. In history many animated movies have been based on existing stories. Uh, sometimes you get original stories but many times they're based on fairy tales like for example Cinderella. Once the idea is clear for the most part, the storyboard artists go to work. They come up with a sequence of images that are presented as a storyboard to give the big picture of the storyline. In the animatics process, the storyboard slides are put together as a viewable film, so the team has an opportunity to look through the entire storyline and get a sense of everything is right as far as time, spacing, and so forth. The design phase of a 3D animated movie is not that different from a traditional movie. It ties into wardrobe, hairstyles, into what age and what time is it playing in. Is it medieval times? Is it science fiction? You know, that kind of thing. The layout artists do exactly what you think they do. They lay out the scenes so it's framed properly and they have everything in screen that they want to. R&D is an extremely important part of the animation process for the simple reason that the team has to figure out how they're going to do something and if that is what they actually want. For example, in movie Up, they uh, traveled and uh, looked at waterfalls that they can use as uh, you know, a reference in the movie. And in A Bug's Life, they put a mini cam on a little uh, Lego wagon so they could look at the world from below. In this part of the process, the actual 3D models are created. Texturing a 3D model is basically what you think it is. It's applying color and texture to it. Now, there are a lot of ways to do that, and it's actually a fairly complicated process, but you know, just for the general understanding, let's call it coloring the models, okay? Character rigging is a very important part of the process. What a character rigger does is they apply bones and skeletons into uh, 3D uh, models that need to be animated so that animators later on can actually move them into position and have them animated. This is the part of the process where our models actually come to life. The animators take the 3D models that are now rigged and they start to animate them so they look alive. Now it's time for the visual effects team to come in. They are in charge of anything that is related to fire, uh, smoke, fog, explosions, you know, water reflections and that kind of cool stuff. Now, lighting is important in any movie, but it's as important in animated movies as well. Not only because lighting will allow you to see everything you need to see, but it also has a huge impact on the mood of the scene, okay? Now, in animated movies, you actually have light set up uh, in various ways, and it's uh, so complicated that you actually have lighting specialists. Okay, once our models have been uh, created and UV'd and textured and rigged and lighted and animated, it's time to render the scene. So you can do this in a couple of ways. You can render individual images and stitch them together into a movie, or you can render them out into a movie file.
Well, compositing is especially important in 3D animated movies because the rendering process is usually done in layers. What do I mean by that? Well, you can have, let's say, a light layer, you can have a depth layer, you can have a specularity layer, and so forth. Now, in the composition phase of the production, these layers are put together to get the final result. Within 2D visual effects, you would find things like uh, motion graphics and so forth. So basically, stuff like uh, intros, titles, and that kind of thing. When it comes to music and Foley, this is probably one of the most important uh, topics of the entire movie. Uh, music is so important that if you turn off sound while you're looking at a movie, you will be looking at a completely different movie. It will just feel wrong, right? So music, obviously very important. Foley is the sound effects group. So uh, they put in the sounds of honking horns, of running horses, of eagles flying over and so forth. And then the last music or vocal part is the voices of the actors. Now that all depends on the type of movie and how big the actors are. In some movies they will animate the characters and put in the voices later, but for example if you're uh, Tim Allen and you're working in Toy Story, then the animators will work towards how you move and how you talk to make it more lifelike. At this stage you basically have a film like any other film and it's time for the editor to look at it and see what they're going to keep and what they're going to cut. Alright, well from a color standpoint there are basically two things you can do in this phase. Uh, one is color correction where you actually just literally correct the colors so they look right. And two is color grading. And color grading is the process where you tweak colors to give it a certain atmosphere. For example, in a western movie you will have very desaturated colors where in a science fiction movie everything will be very blue and grayish. Okay everybody, so our movie is done and it's time to get our movie into the uh, distributor channel so people can view it in theaters and on DVDs and Blu-rays and so forth, all right? So this is uh, basically uh, the process. Of course, there are many, many steps that are involved here, but hopefully this will give you a better understanding of how the process works, okay? So that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.